mucho amor. I'm going too much. I'm going too far. I'm too lost. welcome back for another video this halloween and guess what today is this is a huge clue but this is my libra look and i am shocked literally last night i was thinking how am i going to create something that has the scale thing and initially i thought i was going to do something within the bun and I had these tea lights in mind and I had this little bottom in mind and at the end of the video you'll see how I created that but that's about it as far as like the extension but then I, I was really concerned with the eye look I wasn't sure what I was gonna do the most I knew about this look was that I was going to be wearing this purple dress and that I had tea lights and I'm so happy with the look because I literally look like I'm about to tell you some future shit. Like, wouldn't you believe me if I told you some future shit if I really took out like my water mercado? You would believe that shit right now, okay? Right? <laughs> but um, I am having fun, but like a fun question mark? I don't know. I think I'm just... Right now, I'm still in shock that this was even put together, that it looks like so legit, it looks so crazy. I didn't think it was going to be crazy because earlier I was just sitting here with half a moon and half a star and I kept messing it up. Yeah, that's the truth. So, um, enjoy the process of me just kind of talking you through my process and hopefully you find inspiration or you just enjoy the video this Halloween and you're enjoying the series with the horoscopes. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy. Buenos dias, buenos dias. If you are new here to this series, if you just landed on the Libra costume um, inspo video, if this is your first time there's a whole playlist here that will be premiering this 2020 halloween week and my intent with these videos is that if you need to be busy doing something that you can just be busy and listen and you don't necessarily have to look but if you're just chilling and you want to watch the process of course you can see that as well i'm kind of personally i i like to watch and i like to listen and i really need that middle ground i feel like that middle ground is sometimes um really hard to find i feel like everything is so intended to be so visual that um i need more audio things to listen to because I love feeling like I know my, um, I love feeling like I know my YouTubers, but I just, I just don't want to have to look at them all the time. <laughs> but maybe you're in the same boat, maybe you're not, but here I am, getting ready. So, I had this little headband. And when I first picked it up, it was intended to be for the end look. But then I was like, no, 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 this is tacky. I'm just going to wear it as I, um, as I do the look. So, of course, my face is moisturized and I am dabbing in some Milani foundation. It is my go-to. It is my baby foundation. I just love it so much. Now another foundation that I um, tend to have for these looks is a nice matte foundation and just remember that in the description you can check that out. All the items that I use will be in the description. Now I don't honestly looking back at this video I don't know what made me think I was capable of doing this. Like holy cow. So, um, I started drawing some clouds in one of my eyes and 
when you're drawing clouds anything in nature you know you gotta bob ross it everything's about shadows everything's about layering and i love it i love doing this i honestly need to paint more but painting on myself is so much fun too so i i'm having a blast so of course uh i started out with lighter colors and then i moved into some darker colors i made sure i did my crescent moon first this way um i wouldn't have to put a brighter color onto my darker colors so that it would be seamless and then i'm just dabbing different glitters that i have some craft glitters and you can when you're brainstorming your look you can go to the craft store and see what's available i personally love the craft store it's just like a bookstore it's it's got so much mystery comment down below where you like to go that feels like mystery um in the regular life i think um some cafes have that flair and um and mostly like bookstores or craft stores for me of course i like other places too and then I went ahead and made my eyebrow blue and did a nice little wing. Honestly, a wing can go so far in any Halloween makeup. Do not forget about your wing. So I went back after a while and I put some more white paint in because I just felt like something about the white paint, it eventually fades. So it's good to put a couple layers on. Now here's where I went a little wild and I decided I was going to do this one look. I'll show you a picture of what it's inspired by. But um, I kind of wanted to give the illusion that if I looked down then I kind of had like this long lash and then if I looked up um it would almost look a little clown like but unfortunately because of the boldness of the black it's and how big i did the one triangle down my face it was too dramatic it was overpowering to my art on my face and i didn't want when you look at the entire look for your eyes to immediately be drawn to that center and to that clowniness because it would just take away from the overall look now as you can see here um it's a little bit darker i actually got on the call with my sister it was a wonderful wonderful call but I don't know if I can literally be so creative <laughs> and listen to people speak. Um, I can listen to videos and basically not really pay attention. Like I need some white noise of sorts, but if you expect me to engage, it's not really a thing. So. I'm going to ask you this question because it was kind of mind-blowing to me and I love things that blow my mind. Um, so, one thing is that I forgot who said it and I forgot where I got it from. My apologies. But it was a saying that I learned in college that we don't really multitask. That we truly think we could be multitasking but our attention to details really in one thing at a time and i truly truly believe that to be true i used to think that i was multitasking um but i am also a person that likes to give 100 and not give um less so when i was multitasking or what i thought was multitasking 
I wouldn't actually um, put all the attention I needed to and no matter what, as soon as I stopped doing the one thing, the other thing would be finally done properly. It was kind of just like an illusion thing that I felt like I was giving myself. Um, and it really changed my study habits, it changed my habits in a lot of different things. So, um, comment down below anything you would like to tell me in regards to that because I'd, I'd like to hear it. So, I did a little bit of um, a starry night on this other side and it's still going alright, it's going alright, but not 100% percent sure if I'm doing it right because I'm winging it and I feel like I say that in every video but um that's the process <laughs> you kind of um stop and think and contemplate it's actually really funny um explaining well it's actually really funny I think about putting all these videos together for you guys and trying to bring a lot of production quality and a little confession, it's really intimidating to bring something so different to people that um, their standard is so social media equals superficial and it's really hard um, to break people in to a different type of exposure to social media when they know you personally at least so I'm really excited to not know you guys personally and um, have you here have you um, come and follow me on all the different platforms this way I can just feel that it's worth it in the sense that growth can happen when you are out of your comfort zone so this crown is from the Dollar Tree a lot of the accessories and things that I'm using for these looks are just from the Dollar Tree and if you aren't aware of how I got the inspiration to do this is I have a lot of glittery gowns that I've worn that I've just kept and despite moving across country just a month ago I decided I'm gonna bring these darn things with me and I'm gonna use them one last time and I thought how could I make these dresses almost into a costume without you know damaging them just using them as is but adding some cool makeup and headband and suddenly it's a Halloween look and I don't know if any of you girls out there have the same problem you just have those things in your um, closet that you're like I never get to dress up I never get to wear you and um, I don't know that's just how I felt and so I went ahead and measured this crown, put it in the center. I used the little stickies that came. I love them. Honestly, once I added in those um, glittery diamonds that pack, I, once I added the adhesive glitter um, and the crown suddenly I felt like it was giving carnival vibes and I was all about it like I was like oh wow suddenly suddenly I'm totally totally <laughs> feeling this now the moment you've truly been waiting for I play Among Us as a Libra so Appropriately, I added a crown, and I could have went pink, but I went with a cyan. That's a very fleshy color. So, um, 
here we go. So I took a chance and I went left. I never go left, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go left. And I started out with this thing and I mess up because I wasn't using both of my eyes, I was just using my left eye. <laughs> I don't know, I was kind of testing out this theory that I thought um, you really can't tell uh, distance with just one of your eyes, which is absolutely true, and so um, I was testing it out during this. <laughs> the reactor so everybody knows I'm the real one and I go ahead and I just keep on the move to my own thing and uh, ah! oh death was so close to pretty to death that's what a libra would say by the way so I like Des Des let them know that I was at the reactor and I felt seen as a Libra, as I should be. So I have a ton of tasks and as a Libra, my task should only be to hold this crown on my head and to stay alive, of course. So, you know, and there's problems, there's problems around here and I'm just the only one that's gonna go handle it. One, stay alive. It's like my favorite task. What is your favorite task in Among Us? So Des is feeling orange. They're f she's feeling it. And she actually has some evidence. And of course she's, she's gonna, you know, vouch for her pink. Oh, oh, but Jenny Daddy is saying it's purple. Ooh, the drama. You know what? I think it's purple. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are the moments that... Just who do you believe? Who do you believe? Is it purple? Is it orange? Jenny Daddy is like, dude, why are you lying? Ooh... Then the miss spell. Oh, the miss spell. Ooh, bye, Des. Bye, bye, bye. Once I felt like I completed the eye look, I went ahead and just pulled my hair up into a bun. I kind of really knew that my hair was going to be up in a bun for this one already. And I played with the idea of using some um, twigs, some frosted twigs that were from, again, the Dollar Tree. And um, I just cut them off. And they were for like Christmas decorations, you know, everything's out for Christmas already. Um, and definitely if you're into crafts, always check them out. It's endless inspiration and affordable. So I cut that off and I already had this jeweled crown. And instead of wearing it, oh sorry, it's a headband. And instead of wearing it like flat on my head, I made it look more like a... Um, uh, a halo of sorts just had it come forward closer closer to my forehead I also had this string this gem string that is really awesome for crafts as well I also had this circular garland and I t cut off two pieces I cut off the additional string and I started putting together this hanging circle, this hanging flat base, and just with a hot glue gun, 
I had measured that jewel string to the height that I wanted it and when I went to put it underneath the circle I made sure I put it halfway under so that it would support the circle. Then I had some tea lights around the house and I also had some small tape, chrome tape, gold chrome tape and I, it was literally measured perfectly for this to cover the tea lights so I wrapped them around the tea lights and I played with the idea of putting it on the platform however it's plopped over so I realized that instead of having two strings to hold this swing like um, pendulum I'd need to put four strings so I went ahead and cut off some more jeweled string and put that up. And I hope we're just all having fun this Halloween. I personally am so happy I did the channel because I don't know what I would be doing without this. I really would have like to bring you some more content so i still i'm in shock i'm looking at this in the viewfinder and i'm like who is this who is this but that's what halloween's about and i really wanted to make sure for libra i brought the princess and the queen and the presentation and the scales and i wanted there to be an element of what you would think of minimally like I want it to be somewhat recognizable I wanted it to have some glam I wanted there to be like a bit of a queen element and I hope you guys like it I just I'm just, just you're gonna hear me like be like this the whole, whole time so love you guys so much